a gas that crashes into itself nonstop and still doesn't slow down. Normally, collisions are nature's breaks. They scramble motion, spread things out, and kill a current. So how did physicists make a gas behave like a perfect wire? Here's the difference. Diffusion is a drunk walk. To go twice as far, it takes about four times longer. Ballistic motion is straight line. Twice as far takes twice as long. They took thousands of ultra-cold rubidium atoms and trapped them so tightly, they could basically only move along a single line. A one-dimensional quantum wire made of gas. And then the weird part. Even with an enormous number of collisions, the flow of mass and energy stayed steady. Diffusion was practically suppressed. Wait, if they're colliding constantly, why isn't there resistance? Picture Newton's cradle. In one dimension, a collision doesn't have many places to leak motion into. So instead of randomizing everything, the momentum can just get handed off like the motion passes through the crowd. To quantify that keeps going ness, the researchers use something called a drude weight. You can think of it like a scoreboard for transport. Higher means more current survives, more ballistic-like behavior. And this is why one-dimensional quantum systems can refuse to thermalize the way your intuition expects or do it painfully slowly. Same particles, same collisions, totally different rules. If you love mind-bending science that actually clicks, subscribe for more.